Hello, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and um, in this video for the new Boston I'm going to be talking about um, post data. Now we've already looked at get data and forms and then form security but we'd, we've, been, we've been currently displaying all of our data, the um, variable names and the variable data in um, our URL. So our structure has been index.php and then we've had things like date equals Monday, date equal, uh, day equals Monday and then blah 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 so on. So what happens if we are submitting something like a long registration form or let's just say um, a user has to go on a page and submit a long area, a long uh, sort of selection of text in a text field so they were typing out say a, lo a long description of themselves for this purpose um, it's not a good idea in any means to use um, get but what we do is we use something called post and this uses a different method it uses the HTTP post method and this processes the data it sends the data directly to the form and doesn't include it in the URL itself so it's great for things like passwords it's great for things like long registration forms as well it's good to note that get actually does have if you were to use variables like this, this um, a lot of browsers and web servers have limits on how much get data can be processed at once and as well when you're using things like uh, file uploads you need to be processing the file data through a form into a page and you use post as well as another um, attribute to the form field which is called enc type but uh, we're not going to be going into that until we deal with form field uploads so we're going to take a look at um, an example and this example is going to be typing in um, a password and in this case we're going to be submitting the password we're going to be creating a form first of all down here we're going to be submitting a password and checking it and we're going to be telling the user uh, you know is the password correct so we're going to start off by setting up our form and we have the form action and the method as usual and remember the form action we can either go to another PHP page or we can stay on the same one in this case I'm staying on exactly the same one so we're submitting all the data inside this form to index.php the method though instead of get is going to be post and this automatically means that the data is not going to be sent well it's going to be sent as post it's not going to be sent as get so let's say um, password and we break down and we have an input type now this time we're not going to choose text because what would happen would be is we would be able to see anything we typed in here however we are going to choose the type password and this means that the browser interprets this as a password field and you can no longer see anything in there so that's interesting if you didn't already know how to do that the name of this is going to be password Okay, and we're going to break down a couple more times and we're going to be an input type submit value equals submit just as we did in the last example. So as this stands, we're submitting a password in this form when we click submit. So as prior the uh, or as to the previous example with get, I type something in here, click submit and we saw it appear here. However, now if I was to type, say, password in here and click submit, we've actually submitted this now to the form. The data has been submitted. However, it's not visible up here and obviously at the moment not visible on the page because we haven't done anything with the data. Now, just to show you the example, I'm going to echo out dollar underscore and this time post and password. Remember this name here corresponds to the name that you've given the form field so let's refresh the page type in um, hidden for example and click submit you can see that hidden is now displayed okay but still not displayed up here so what can we do with this we can um, again check that the, the form has been submitted so we say if is set is set and we say dollar underscore post this time password we execute in this block here so if we've uh, submitted and the password uh, has been has been sent or the uh, form field data has been sent 
we now need to grab that so I'm gonna say password equals dollar underscore post password now as discussed in the security video relating to forms uh, we could do the HTML entities just here however we're not actually um, displaying this password back out to the user we're just going to process it down here and check that it's equal to a preset password so the password um, I'm going to say is uh, pass one two three okay so the password must be equal to pass one two three for us to uh, validate it so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say if password corresponding to this variable which then corresponds to this here because we're taking the uh, post data which then corresponds to what the users typed in so if the password is equal to match say something otherwise say something else and what we're going to say in here is echo that is correct and otherwise we're going to say that is in correct okay so let's test this out uh, we'll go back to the index.php page we'll click submit um, it says that is incorrect we haven't actually checked for the existence yet um, but we can do that we could say here if is uh, or if is not empty password do all of this down to here Ooh. and then we can indent this so this reads as if it's set um, set a new variable called password to the posted password if it's not empty uh, do all of this and then and then otherwise I mean can you see in my text editor where when I click to the end of this um, curly bracket here that highlights in red this also highlights in red so I can see that this starts here and ends here therefore I can do else please enter a password okay so um, let's go back and back onto our page uh, now I'm going to submit it without entering anything and it says please enter a password now I'm going to enter a password just absolutely anything into the form and click submit that is incorrect now if I was to type pass one two three and I was to click submit we have validated that as correct therefore um, we're displayed with the error uh, the error the uh, message that is correct so we've posted a password through this form um, we've used the post method with the HTTP post method which doesn't display it here and um, has allows us to pro ha allowed us to process it in secret now I'm not going to show you an example but if you were processing say a long amount of data you'd also use the post as well as uh, file uploads like I discussed earlier but that will be later on in the series so this is basically um, posting variables in uh, PHP